Yes? I can come in Monday. Great news. Have you figured out what we're doing today yet? That's right. Today, on Today with Tony, we're gonna find out how to look for a job. Looking for a job is very difficult, even for a qualified professional YouTuber such as myself. You know, you face so much rejection during the process that it can really feel like the walls are closing in on you. Really feel like the walls are closing in on you. But today on Today with Tony, we're gonna knock these walls down. We're gonna take some wooden boards. We're gonna build some frames. We are going to put those frames up uh, and in the process of a day, just have a good old Amish style barn raising of a job hunt. Stand on your porch and holler for Amos, holler for Homer, holler for Jedediah, holler for Ezekiel. Let's get all the Amish you know over. Let's get a big, boiling pot of ketchup going, and uh, let's have a good old-fashioned Amish-style barn raising of a job hunt. You gotta get a big old stack of resumes, and you want it stacked to about here. And then you have a similar stack of envelopes also to about here, because you need as many envelopes as you have resumes. And then you have a stack of stamps, and stacks are, stamps, stamps are much smaller they, they just are, it's geometry, it's science. So their stack is gonna be less high. You're stacking, you're stuffing, you're stamping. Push those resumes aside. We can push the envelopes out of here. We can keep the stamps because they are valuable. And uh, we can move past that. You know, that's, that's not unique advice you're gonna get. And Today with Tony is all about unique, useful advice that you can't get anywhere else. So what I've been told is that these days you get jobs on the internet, which I don't know how you would get a job on the internet. I'm old school. This is an old school Amish barn raising of a job hunt. So we're gonna do things the old fashioned way, which is just random cold calling. So we do 111, 111, uh, and then 1111, and we see if that works. Oh, I need to put in the country code. One, country code one, USA. One, one, one. One, one, one. One, 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 one. Let's. All right, so that's not a real number. We do one, 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 one. One, one, one. One, 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 two. One, 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 one. One, one, one. One, 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 three. One, 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 four. So just get your dialing finger ready and get ready to talk to a lot of confused people. Write down the word synergy now and I mean, that's all you have to do right now. You're gonna wanna use it later, but just, just think about the Amish and write down the word synergy. You can't just sit around playing Fortnite, not answering your phone. That's not how you're gonna get a job. Unless, got a chug jug. I'm gonna, I'm getting one of these new Fortnite boats. This is gonna be great. Oh, my phone's ringing. Oh, uh-oh. Hey, Amos, guess what I'm doing? I'm playing Fortnite right now. Yeah, I know. I mean, how are you even calling me? <laughs> this is wild. And so what's gonna happen at this interview, uh, if you've never had an interview before, is that you're just gonna be peppered with questions. So you wanna do some prep. You wanna have some answers ready. You wanna think about the questions they're gonna ask you. And I've got a few examples of really common interview questions and some good answers you can give them. You know, what about this job interests you? What you do is 
take one finger, you give them a little library shush. And then you hit them with the wink. Keep that wink right in your eye socket, ready to go. Where do you see yourself in five years? You don't wanna give the honest answer because the honest answer for anybody is either in five years, I'm dead, I'm up in heaven looking down on all you stupid working chumps at your jobs, or in five years, I'm still alive and I'm still in this miserable purgatory of an existence. So you wanna say something ambitious, like in five years, I'd like to be embroiled in some kind of international game of spycraft where I don't know who my enemies are, I don't even know what the stakes are at this point, but they're probably a lot higher than I realize. HR people will love to hear that. They'll love that you're ambitious. They'll love that you have goals, uh, achievable goals that you've set for yourself. Another question that gets commonly asked is, give, please provide us with an example of a difficult situation you've had at work and how you handled it. And you don't wanna point out to them that that's not actually a question, but a command. You can give them this example, which is that you were trying to raise a barn uh, on a rainy day, and the fire under the big pot of ketchup for the chicken at the end of the day uh, kept going out and you couldn't get the ketchup perfectly thick. Uh, so, you know, you're just struggling with this fire all day and you can just tell them that you just kept at it and kept stoking the fire and eventually the rain stopped and a double rainbow came out and the ketchup got perfectly thick and you all dunked your chickens in it and it was a beautiful barn. So they've asked you, do you have any more questions? That's one question. Uh, and then you reverse that on them and you say, well, do you have any more questions for me that you wanted to ask? And then they're gonna reverse that on you and come up with a third question that they've been hiding because they've been waiting for you to ask them for more questions. They're gonna decide right then and there, this is our person, this is who we are hiring, congratulations, can you start Monday? The barn of your job hunt has been fully raised and framed uh, and sided and the animals are pouring in and the ketchup is perfectly thick uh, and you are just dunking chickens in the ketchup, eating big old bites of chicken, just big chomping bites. You're looking at a live chicken that's in the barn while you're doing this and you're wondering like, does the chicken know what I'm doing? There is one good way to celebrate an Amish barn raising of a job hunt and that is classic Amish solemn solo square dancing. Thank you for watching this episode of Today with Tony. I hope your job hunt goes well. Please join us again after this Alabama left and swinging my partner for our next episode, which will be failure to launch part four on Today with Tony. Thank you very much.